What's up everyone? 5280 Reefer back at you again with another episode. So this week I uh, don't have too many big updates so I thought I'd throw you guys a short little update about the uh, Australian stripey that just got out of QT and I introduced it into the tank. Also uh, with this video I'm trying out shooting the video under only blue lights so no white light at all. And I've got to say, uh, trying to video edit videos that were shot under only blue lights is a whole heck of a lot harder than uh, with having white lights. Balancing it out definitely is difficult. It is very heavy blue. So my apologies. It's quite a bit bluer this time. But um, in any case, so... I got my Australian Stripey uh, from my LFS. He was QT'd for about three weeks, and you can actually see him come into the frame a couple of times here by this coral. Um, it's been about three, four days since I put him into the tank. My other fish have not annihilated him. They didn't really even care uh, about him getting into the tank. He is on the smaller side, and only now is he starting to like slowly go towards the rocks and is starting to kind of graze on the rocks. So we'll see in the next few weeks uh, what ends up happening and how he gets along with uh, taking care of the Aptasia. But uh, so far, I don't think I've seen one less Aptasia. <laughs> Uh, wishful thinking, right? But I do know I got to give him time to kind of establish, establish itself. I don't know if it's a he or a she. Um, it's got to establish itself in the tank, um, kind of figure out the territory, see its boundaries. Because um, I know it's definitely swam up to where my big male bird wrasse likes to sleep. And he got kicked right out of there real quick. Uh, but other than that, none of the other fish have bothered him at all whatsoever. I was kind of worried since it does uh, have that angel body shape that the tangs would kind of be like, hey, that's a small tang and kind of go after him. But no, no, they they didn't even look at him twice. So I'm extremely, extremely happy about that. But um, other than that, so far what I've seen from the from this fish is it is pretty aggressive. Um, even though it is a tiny fish, it is not scared when it's feeding time to swim up to the top right next to everyone else and get its mices for sure. I mean, it straight up jets up there and is right next to the fish that are like, 20 30 times larger than him and uh, or it and it it doesn't care it, it eats really really well um, so yeah wish me luck guys I do hope that this stripey will be able to take care of my aptasia issue <sighs> we'll see I mean from everything I've seen my LFS um, they also had like a 115 gallon aquarium that had the exact same Aptasia because that's where I got my Aptasia from. Um, theirs was completely covered in Aptasia as well. Uh, they ended up getting a stripey and within like four or five weeks it ended up just decimating the Aptasia population in there. And you can see maybe one or two here or there, but I'm pretty sure next time I go in, those will be gone as well. So the, the stripies do work, but from what I've been getting uh, information-wise from a lot of people is that they're good when they're small, but if you have LPS, they will go for LPS. Things like Acans, um, you know, Favias and things like that. I've heard that they can pick at Duncan's as well, and I've got two different colonies of Duncan's here and there. I'm not too worried about the Acans, 
not really worried about the Favias or the Duncans. Um, I'm more worried about my SPS. I am a stickhead. So as long as it doesn't touch my SPS, I don't really care. And I have heard that they also can go after like actual full-blown anemones like rose bubble tips, sunbursts, anything like that. So if you have any of those types of anemones in your tank, um, or if you like LPS and you have a big LPS collection, uh, stripies probably wouldn't be a good choice. Um, and they do get very, very large. Um, so I've already talked to the LFS. Uh, he told me once he gets larger, I can take him in and trade him in and, um, I get myself a smaller stripey to continue eating uh, the Aptasia in my tank. On another small little update, uh, basically with my carbon dosing, um, last two weeks I've been, I, I do my testing every Saturday, I've been noticing that my nitrates kept dropping lower and lower, uh, so I was at 15 uh, two weeks ago, last week, I was down to nine. Um, and as soon as I was at 15, um, I started reducing the amount of carbon dosing I was doing at night because I obviously don't want to strip the tank. So I went down to five mils a night. And then um, last week I tested and I was down to nine. So then I was like, okay, it's still going down. So I dropped it down to three. And uh, this Saturday I tested and my nitrates were at 8.8. .8. So I think I'm going to be maintaining the three mils a night. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Do let me know what you thought of this video and of the color and all. But as always, you guys have a wonderful night and keep on reefing.